All right, let's transport this grain. The wheat, to be exact. We got to transport this wheat all the way to the freight yard because that's where the money's at. Oops, accidentally told him to stop. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we got to pull up the map a bit so I can figure out which way to go. Looks like I'm going to want to take a left here. We got the grain train. I like that. I like this so much. Every time I play, I'm just like, I'm giggling over the fact that I literally have a trailer on a trailer because I didn't think it was possible for the longest time. We're just going to stay on the road, though. We're not going to try nothing stupid or fancy. We're going to stay on the road. Get from A to B. Nice and easy. This is at um, max speed, by the way. I was I had it at three. I tried to accelerate some more, so now I'm holding W. And for the most part, it's the same speed. So let's go back to three. This is a small drop as I transition from one mode to the other. But that's okay. So what um what I might look into is getting a mod that's like maybe not a big rig, but I don't know some sort of truck like the F three fifty kind of you know. Ford, F-350, Chevy, 2500 type of trucks, you know, heavier duty truck. Uh, maybe I could, that's hopefully balanced and that I could use to transport the grains a little easier when I have so much. That seems like a good mod to kind of look into. It's not to the point where it's like I would need a big rig, I don't think. Like I'm thinking this much would be fine with just... A basic truck, not a fucking big rig. Big rig just be overkill for this. I don't know when I'll do it or if I will for sure, but it's just an idea. I'm thinking, yeah, that could work. Good, maybe we should check that out. And I'm surprised how thin these trailers are. You'd think they'd be a little wider. But if I'm right on the edge of the road, look how much clearance you still got on that side. I don't know. Don't know why this surprises me. Alright, I don't know exactly how I'm going to unload these, though. Like, there's two ways to do this. The, the smart way and the dumb way. Now, the problem is I really want to do the dumb way. But there's a reason it's a dumb way. It could cause problems if it doesn't work. Now the smart way is slow. But I, I can guarantee you it'll work alright. So it's just one of those decisions where like I don't know what to do. It's, it's I just don't know what to do. It's a hard decision. I'll show you what I'm thinking when I get there, but I, I think this one it's the freight yard, right? So that one has the, the, the um train I have to dump it into, which is not the easiest when you have a to dump from right in the middle right there that's literally where it's gonna have to come out you see right in the middle of the trailers I'm gonna somehow have to dump that I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna accomplish that but we are really just holding up traffic <laughs> look at that there's three cars and just like Fuck is this shit, man? This, this tractor is going so goddamn slow. I'm just like, I'm just going as fast as this thing will, trying to haul my grains. And I could go on into the grass and stuff, and I want to be on the road, damn it. There's no reason for the cars to be follow. Why are you following me? I want to know where this guy's trying to go. If he's following me, where is he trying to go? As far as I know, the only place that's really over here is the, the freight yard. I'm like, unless he, he's going to stop at the freight yard, I don't know where he's going. Let's zoom out like this so I can see both of them. Or both me and that car. I want to see what they do. Genuinely curious. If this was real life, you could say, oh, he works there. But in the game, he's just probably going to end up making a U-turn or something. I love how they go stop, go, stop, go. They don't even try to pace themselves with me. They're just like, vroom, er, vroom, er. Just, it's like, calm down. Oh, come on. It's just like, calm down. 
Unless he turns right, I guess that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a road there. If you look at the map from over this distance, you don't really see it. Oh, I guess you do. I was thinking that was... I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I know that. I didn't think it... I, didn't, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just forgot that route existed, I guess. So, we're gonna try it the stupid way first, which means we're gonna... Take proper precautions. How's that for a pop filter? Hopefully it works when I say that. Anyways, we're gonna take the proper precautions to make sure that I... If I fuck it up, it'll be okay. So here's how we're gonna do this. Okay, this isn't gonna work after all. I was gonna try to drive over them, but that doesn't seem to... There. This is the stupid way. Does not work. But we are not stuck on the other hand, so we don't need to reload, which is nice. So the smart way is to just do it like this. Oh, one of them can unload. I mean, hey, if it's gonna supposedly work like that angle, go for it. Right. Oh, wait, we already on that trailer. Alright, so next we gotta unload this one. This one will be a little bit easier. Oh wait, because this is a double trailer, I have to go the opposite way! I forgot about that. I forgot the physics of the double trailer. So I wanna... There. That's pretty much exactly how I was planning. Close enough to what I was planning, at least. And that is a pretty significant chunk of money we just made. I am happy. So this tractor has been lightened its, lightened its load as well, which is nice! So hopefully we can go a bit faster now. Yeah, so the grains do add weight. That's good to know. Trying to remember when I planted the uh, stuff. Well, I I, the, the, I just thought of something else. There's a little picture that says it's supposed to be raining, and the the weather report says it's supposed to be raining. Which ironically enough is the is hotter than the day when it's sunny. That's directly after it. Is this just randomly generated? Damn it. Well, the high is higher, I guess I should say. The low is. Uh, you know, you you could look at that and understand what I'm saying. Ali was looking at the highs at first. So we made some money from our harvest. Interesting. So I do go slightly faster when I have both trailers if I manually control the speed. If I set it to 3, he just sticks it around 12, 13. Oh, there's the rain. Oh, cool. See, it's cool because I don't know if I've ever really seen the rain. Well, I have seen it in a video a long time ago. But uh, it's been quite some time since I have. I know that much. Go ahead and drop my mouse a little bit for a second and grab some paper. All right. So I planted those. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't. Oh God. I was kind of talking like away from the microphone because I was grabbing my stuff. But um, supposedly, if my calculations are correct, what I planted usually takes about 24, a little bit over 24 hours, is what I've real. I've kind of seemed to notice. So. What I've planted should be about ready to harvest. Pretty much right when I return. Because I wrote down 9.30 is when I planted that. So I'm hoping I uh, wrote the right... Holy shit, I keep fucking up. Yeah, no. 
That was because I was trying to set my paper down and. Oh, yeah, yo. See, I tried to reconnect the other one, is what happened, and then that just disconnected this one. Come on, that's pretty lined up. Okay. Sorry about that. Maybe I should slow the time down a little bit. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Let's put the, um... So, the uh, selection tool on this trailer. So if I accidentally do that same mistake, at least it won't drop both of them. It'll just... Or at least it'll drop both of them. It's the, just the back one. So it's easy to reconnect it. I mean, there's 7,000 in storage. It'd give me some money, but... I'd rather keep it for later. Just because... I made my trip, you know. Don't have much desire to go back. You know, farmers in this farming community drive some really nice ass cars. It really makes them. Wow! He really wanted to get in front of me, didn't he? And what purpose did it serve? He's not going that much faster than me. Maybe when it goes uphill, yeah, but when it wasn't uphill. Okay, we got it. Alright, let's see if uh, my plants have grown. Shit, I can't tell just by looking at them. I gotta. They are ready to harvest. So let me go ahead and. Set the timer down a bit. And uh, harvest it. See, so I went ahead and drove that all the way over here because I'm going to need to collect from this thing anyway, so it makes sense to. I'm just gonna back back it up all the way over there. It's gonna take a little longer than it probably should because I'm doing it that way, but I'm pretty sure I got time. See this way I'm actually farming instead of mowing lawns all the damn time. Alright, go ahead and start harvesting. Huh? I got a worker, but he's not doing nothing. Start harvesting. There's some message that pops up just for a second. Do not thresh during rain or hail. Okay. I can't thresh during rain or hail. Okay. Well, then you're fired. And that's... That's, it makes sense why that'd be in the game, but that's a little frustrating. Because if all this dies before I can... Thresh again, it's just like it's such a waste. Now, I don't know if the, the rain, when it'll stop, if it's based off of real life time or game time. So to give me the most likely option, or the most balance between both possibilities. I'll leave the time at 15 times multiplier, and hopefully the rain will stop so I can, uh, thresh my field or whatever. Yeah, it's not really good at telling you that error message, though, when you were, when I was trying to do that. Whoops. Okay. I wonder, are there any threshers, or attachments, or whatever? cutter attachments that are like super heavy super heavy duty that'll work in the rain 
Oops, wrong button. Let's find out. All right, harvester. That's the one we got. Uh, it's maize. We need something that says wheat, barley, canola. It just says this is a cutter, so I doubt it. This is a cutter for, no, I doubt it. 1,000 horsepower. Eh, it doesn't look like any of them are made to... That's too bad. None of them are made to work in the rain. And we can go ahead and do this mission, I guess. Assuming it's not too far. Going the wrong way! There we go. Because I can't do nothing here while it's raining. I'm wondering if I should have left the worker, like, hired up. So that way if the rain does stop, he'll be going and ready. I mean, it's kind of too late now, but... Whoa! I did not know you could do this this whole time. Again, I just never hit that button. It's the right mouse button. I'm so entertained by that. More so than I should be. Up the hill we go. And now for the fun part. Down the hill. Which there should be like a pile of hay bales down here. Yep. That I remember doing. I told my bale collector to follow me. And well he tipped over a little bit. And now we got one of his bales. Oh no we don't. Yes we do. No we don't. Oh goodness. No we don't. Whoa, it can actually clip through the ground. If you do it right, that's weird. That's right, you stop for me. That's respect. Maybe they just broke down. Because they ain't moving no more. See, this one would be easy to unload at. You just drive up, dump, drive up the next one, dump. Alright, so the package is around this corner, if I recall correctly. Yep. And the timer started. So what am I delivering? Local vending machine, you deliver crates of soda worth $8,000 of soda. Okay. Somehow I picked that up. And we go to the city. We'll stay on the roads, try to keep the pallet on the fork, it's already fallen off. Like it's already fallen off. That is unbelievable. I guess it wasn't truly on it in the first place, was it? Oh damn it, I lined that up when I was at an angle and now I'm not at that angle and ugh. Okay. Keep trying. Spent a minute of the mission. Already is gone. Just because I was not actually picking up the pallet. That really pisses me off. Like, it, it's so frustrating when... Like, the pallet's still not even on the fork, as far as I'm concerned. But I don't have time to try to fix it. 
I just gotta pray that it don't fall. Oh, this asshole is making me have to take a really wide and tight turn. That's gonna not be good. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have fallen off and... But it didn't, thankfully. But it could have. But it didn't. Maybe I need a faster forklift. Maybe that's the problem. I need one with nitrous or something stupid like that. Or just one that's not the cheapest. Well, no, this isn't the cheapest. The second cheapest. I didn't even cheap out here. I got a sort of nice-ish one. Oh, God, the way this sort of wiggles, it just looks like it wants to fall. I'm not liking this. Two minutes to go. Well, we're about halfway through in terms of over halfway in terms of time and distance, so we should be fine. Because we spent a minute screwing around trying to pick it up. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we should be fine. Go and hit nine to zoom in. Figure out exactly who wants all this soda for eight thousand dollars of Coke. I mean, you're not going to buy $8,000 of Coca-Cola. You're going to buy $8,000 of Coke. Who are you kidding? Wait for the turn. Oh, God, that guy's turning. Good thing. I would have just rammed him otherwise. Downhill speeds, go. Where is the delivery point? There. And come on. Yes. That's good. And um, the rain is gone. Um, just because I don't know how long until my stuff wilts. We're going to put it on one time speed. And uh, that'll do it for this video. So until next time, this is my VR. I'll see you.